1 Corinthians 5, 7 tells us what it tells us about hope. Look at that on the screen. 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says what this Passover is all about. It says, purge out therefore the old leaven that you may be a new love. And then it says, as ye have uh, here a leaven for even Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Christ is our Passover. When John saw Jesus approaching, what did he say? He said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Some people believe, many scholars believe that the way they painted the blood on the doorpost, it was not just the doorpost, but the whole door. Look at a picture of it, how it may have looked here. We'll get it up on the screen. Jesus is our Passover. And before they even know what the cross was, they made a cross of blood. You see, without the blood of myself, without the blood, everything was against me. Before I was saved, the weight of my sin, the death angel was awaiting my guilty conscience, was against me, the condemnation of the law. The Bible says the handwriting of ordinances was against me. The forces of evil were at my door. The wrath of a thrice holy God was there. I was a slave to Egypt, the world. I had no future, no hope of eternal life, and Satan would not let me go without a fight. Oh, but I'm glad that Jesus came by, amen? And he put his blood on the doorposts of my heart, and now there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Would you give God praise? Please, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Because I'm saved by the grace of God. I'm still God. I'm glad we serve a God who can still take a black heart and dip it in red blood and it comes out white as snow. Amen. That's the God we serve. And we are saved by grace and through his blood. So I just want to encourage you in this service today. Listen, keep being faithful. Keep God's presence top priority in your life. Keep serving God and his people. Keep knowing and carrying out your course. Keep doing it by the book. Keep standing in the holy place. Keep perpetuating the gospel. And keep staying sanctified. And keep preparing your brothers and sisters to do the will of God.